Judges ready? Are you ready to learn about Greek mythology? Fireworks, fireworks, fireworks! Welcome to the Greek mythology Olympia Gansa. Hold on to your seats because in the next few minutes you are going to be taken on a journey. Journey, journey, journey. Into the mind of the ancient Greek. I'm Alyssa and I will be your captain. Captain, captain. For this evening. Evening, evening, evening. I'm Lindsay and I'm the Pied Piper of Cool. The Lieutenant Spock to your Captain Kirk and the frontman of this band of Mary Misfit. Let's calm it down for a moment, shall we? What we are going to Prepare do Prepare to, to be amazed. What we are doing. It's going to be awesome. Well, did you just let me tell them? Okay. You're going to be like, what? Anyway, we are going to portray all of Greek mythology for you right now. Right now. Right now. 2,000 years ago, life sucked. Fathers were eating their children. Pets were dogs with 17 heads. Mortals were getting impregnated at the wazoo. And the gods practically ran their own version of the television show, Punked. Wait, I thought we weren't going to talk about our personal lives. Oh. Well, that's basically Greek mythology in a nutshell. Thank, Thank you. you. Gotcha. gotcha! Anyway, shut up and listen to Greek, Greek Mythology Olympia Gansa by John Zolaitis. In the beginning, there were the Titans. And the king of the Titans was Kronos. And after each one of his children were born, he ate them. Now, I know what you're thinking out there. This probably isn't the most proper family relationship, but you're just looking at it with modern eyes. See, in ancient time, it was perfectly acceptable to... Actually, it was really gross back then, too. Most myths are. So anyway, the regurgitated children <laughs> formed an army, and they defeated Kronos and the Titans and banished them forever. And then Zeus became king, and somewhere in there, man appeared, and Zeus didn't like man so much, so he decided to punish him for all of eternity. So as punishment in walks... Whoa! What the heck kind of animal is that? I'm not an animal. I'm a woman. Whoa! It's a talking animal. I bet it would be great to eat. Okay, no. <laughs> So the next time that Zeus sent man a woman, he decided to send him a dream first as a little warning. Hey, Bob! What's going on? Is that you, mighty Zeus? Uh, yeah. You remember that animal you ate yesterday? The talking one? That wasn't cool. I'm gonna send you a new one. Ah! <clears throat> That's Pandora. Don't eat her. Zeus out. I'm getting pretty offended here. Would you just let me tell the beautiful myth? No. Fine, then you tell it. Okay, I will. Let's play this out as if it were a movie made for the Oxygen Network. Can I have some intro music, please? They seemed like the perfect couple. My milkshake brings other boys to the yard. They were a couple that laughed together, played together, until at a dramatically convenient point in the story it all changed. Dun, dun, dun! What's that? It's a box. I bought it from a mysterious man at the flea market today. Oh, how mysterious. Step away from the box! Well, I was just- Don't talk about the box! I wasn't- That's it! Don't talk about it! God. I need some alone time with the box. <gasps> Their lives grew stormy, which was symbolized by stormy weather. <laughs> Which was symbolized by stormy weather. Pew, 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 chugga, 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 chugga. Shh. Can we talk? No. Sweetheart, I know you've been having a tough time at work, but. Oh, step away. I think you've been spending too much time with the box. Oh, now the truth comes out, doesn't it? You're jealous of the box. I'm not jealous of a box. Liar. What's in the box anyway? Nothing. You don't love it like I do. You love it? Yes. Why is that so hard to understand? She listens to me. She understands me. I've come to a decision. It is me or the box. The box. Really? Yes. And the box and I have come to a decision. You need to be killed. Oh. One more move and the box gets you. What? Try me. I'm not going to be replaced, you got me? Not by somebody. Oh. Younger and boxier and made of wood. I love you, man, and I love this marriage, and I'm not letting this come between us! No! And then everything that was evil in the world, such as labor pains, migraine headaches, and clothes from the 70s emerged. <clears throat> 
The end. And now, no study of Greek mythology is complete without an in-depth exploration of epic poetry. Which we are not going to attempt. But we are, however, going to introduce the greatest epic poem of all time, the Iliad. In less than five minutes, ready? Let's do this. So, how did the Trojan War begin, you ask? Well, like most wars, it began with a beauty contest. First, there was the shepherd. <laughs> Paris. <laughs> One sheep, two sheep, three sheep. <laughs> and he was visited by three goddesses. Hera, Aphrodite, and Athena. Holy goddesses. Shh. So, if you had to pick which one of us was the hottest, who would it be and why? And if you pick me, Aphrodite, then you can make any girl you want fall in love with you. <laughs> Even mermaids. Oh, can I stop flapping my wings now? Yes. Well. <laughs> You're definitely the hottest. <laughs> Score! I hope that won't cause any problems. Four sheep, five sheep. And just then, the most beautiful girl in the world happened to walk by. What are the odds? Slight problem. She was married to King Menelaus. So Menelaus got all of his men together, who happened to behave like eight-year-old boys, and attacked Troy. And the greatest Greek hero was a guy named Achilles, who was basically invulnerable and impossible to kill. <laughs> Shield, you're dead. That's not fair. He must have a weakness of some sort. Yes, he must have an Achilles heel, but where or where could it be? I hit you. Shield, you're dead. So as you can see, the war was not going well, but then Paris got in a lucky shot and... Ow! I've been struck in my Achilles heel. Oh, the irony. And there was much to be celebrated. We are the champions, my friends. Dum, 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 dum. No time for losers, cause we are the champions. But there was no time for carefully choreographed dance numbers because the war was about to drag on for another nine years. What? Until finally, all right, Trojans, we give up. And to make sure you believe it, we've given you this wooden horse. But there are a few ground rules. First, you can't sit it on fire. Oh. And secondly, you can't poke it with sticks. But that's what I do with all my pets. And third, if you hear strange noises coming from inside the horse, you must ignore that because horses sometimes have complicated digestive systems. <laughs> Sorry. Even wooden ones. You must think we're pretty dumb. Yes, we do think you are pretty dumb. Okay. Shh. And that night, the Greeks snuck out of the horse, and they attacked the Trojans. And then Paris and Helen were up in the tower. And Paris was like, oh my god, I'm so pretty. And then Helen was like, yeah, you are, baby. I love you. And he was like, thanks. And she was like, what do you mean by... No, that's Paris. That's Helen. Oh. So anyway, she was like, what do you mean by that? And then they were like, oh, I don't know. And then there were aliens. Oh, yeah. And they were like, let's just nuke the whole place. Boom! Just like that. Yeah, until finally it came down to a battle of Paris versus Menelaus, mano e mano. A titanic struggle. Ow, 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 ah. Yeah, and so everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs> Wait, no. Actually, no one lived happily ever after. And that is Greek mythology. The, the end. end.